one of your mantras is, uh, you know, if you want to look like an athlete, train like an athlete. And I think that's something really special that sets aside what you do from what a lot of other um, very well qualified people do. And in terms of the use of weights and resistance, whether or not it's body weight or weights in the gym or pulleys versus cardio, you know, in terms of overall health, aesthetics, and athleticism, is there a way that you could point to, you know, the idea that maybe people should be doing, you know, 50% resistance training and 50% cardio, maybe it's 70, 30, maybe it's 30, 70. And, and here I'm talking about the typical person who would like to maintain or maybe even, um, add some muscle mass, mm -hmm. probably in particular areas for most people, mm -hmm. as opposed to just overall mass, although we'll talk about that later. And people who want to maintain a relatively low body fat percentage and be in good cardiovascular health. What's the sort of contour of a basic program that anybody could think about as a starting place? Um, I, I think it's like a 60-40 split, which would be leaning towards uh, weight training, you know, strength and, and, and uh and then, you know, the conditioning aspect be about 40%. So if you look at it over the course of a training week, I mean, five days in a gym would be a great task. And obviously not in the gym, it could be done at home, but three days strength training, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, conditioning, Tuesday, Thursday, you know, two days. It's a, it's a pretty easy roundabout way to split that up. Of course, depending upon training goals. And as you said, the aesthetic goals, like that will shift dramatically. But if you want to see the benefits of both, that's probably the the effective dose for strength training and the effective dose for conditioning at the bare minimum level. Again, being a much better performer conditioning wise, you're going to want to do more than that. And in terms of the duration of those workouts, what's your suggestion? I, I've been weight training for about 30 years, running for about 30 years, um, and mainly for health and have found that if I work hard in the gym or at resistance training for more than 60 minutes or so, it's very hard for me to recover. I start getting colds. I start getting weaker from workout to workout. But amazingly, at least to me, if I keep those workouts to about 10 minutes, 10 minutes of warm up and 50, five, zero mm -hmm. minutes or so of really hard work for resistance training, and I keep the cardiovascular work to about 30 to 45 minutes, I feel great. And I seem to make some progress, at least someplace in the workout from workout to workout. Yeah. I mean, it's, those are, good numbers because those are the kind of numbers that we usually preach. We try to keep our workouts to an hour or less if possible. Now, depending upon the split that you're following, if you're on a total body split, there's just going to be more that has to be done in a given amount of time. Um, that, and again, if you're training primarily for strength, that could prolong the workout because the longer rest times in between sets. But in general, when you're not focused on that one aspect, but the overall health picture, then you can get the job done in, in, under, in under an hour. And again, I always say, on top of if, if you want to look like an athlete, train like an athlete, is you can either train long or you can train hard, but you can't do both. And I really believe that the focus for me, I have a busy life. I have a lot of other things that I do, believe it or not. And it's like, I, I want to go hard and I want to go get out. And I find that my body also responds to that. And I think a lot of guys' bodies respond to that. And particularly as you start to get older, I think it's the, it's the length of the workout that actually causes more problems than the intensity of what you're doing particularly if you're warmed up properly, like you said, I found personally that my warm up has had to become more of an integral part of my, my workout than it ever has before. I never, I could get in the gym when I was 20 and I'm going right over, I'm doing the one set, two sets, I'm in, I'm ready to go, you know, and I never do another workout warm up set for any of the other exercises I do the rest of the day. Um, that's not, that's not true anymore, you know, and I found that as long as I'm willing to sort of give myself a little bit of a warm up. The intensity is not what bothers me. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm very much in control of the weights that I use and it, it doesn't bother me. But if I start to go pretty long, I start to feel achy or I start to have problems. So again, depending upon age, that also plays a factor in the length. But again, I think everybody can achieve on, on a standard program, can achieve the results that they want within an hour.